rolling? Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for Catholic Central League Boys Soccer. St. Mary's taking on Arlington Catholic. St. Mary's looking for their second win. Arlington Catholic is looking for their first win. They've only played three games. Roy Cook is in net for Arlington Catholic. I'm trying to find out who's in net for St. Mary's. I came up here assuming it was Gallego, and it's not because he's got the flu, I guess. And it's an eighth grader, I know. I don't know if it's Miffy Chen. Let's it roll all the way through. Talking to Tim Hegarty, the coach of Arlington Catholic, he said, if you only played three games, he said, yeah, he said, I said, you'll be building up at the end of the year. He said, the last 17 games of the, of the season, he plays nine games. He plays Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. He even has to play on Columbus Day. They pop it in, scooping it, catching it, and throwing it away. St. Mary's it, certainly in a rebuilding year this year. They have lost can't line up the shot. They had it all around the net but they couldn't gain control to get a shot off. Anybody that kept the ball out of the net, anybody that put the ball in the net last year graduated. <laughs> They're using a lot of underclassmen, as I mentioned, with Calego out. Mike D'Agostino told me he was using an eighth grader in net. And Mary's trying to kick it in. They kicked it behind the net. So St. Mary's putting a lot of pressure on Arlington Catholic. And I have to apologize right off the bat because the St. Mary's numbers are almost impossible to pick up unless they're right down in front of us. And even then they're tough. Can't have numbers like Arlington Catholic. White shirts with big black numbers that stand out like a sore thumb. They tip it toward the net. Uh, and easy save. We'll kick it away. They kick it away again. And sliding over and bobbling it momentarily, but then grabbing it right away. Yeah, no 
health problem is trying to follow the ball. Come here. Yeah. See the guy directly in front of me? Sitting next to the two women? Yeah. Go down and ask him if he knows the name of the goaltender. Okay. Wait, that guy? That guy? Right there, right, right in front of us. Only that guy? Just ask him. I just said, you see the guy directly yeah, yeah, in front I'm of us? Yeah, yeah, I'm making sure. Yeah. All right, then. Popping up, Alex and Castle gets a head on it, trying to clear it. Nobody can get a, a bead on it. They finally bang it. I think Alex and Catholic finally knocked it out off St. Mary's. Alex and Catholic are the Cougars. St. Mary's are the Spartans. They uh, are. Jacob, Jacob Guarino. Guarino. Jacob Guarino. So we found out the young eighth grader's name. St. Mary's with a shot. They knocked it wide. They had it dead center, lining it up, and they couldn't get it on net. St. Mary's is controlling so far early in the game. Jacob Garino, the young eighth grader. This is going to be a thrill for him. Uh, hopefully his family and friends are here watching him. St. Mary's almost looked like they got a hand on it. They missed it, trying to kick it upfield. It bounced. They knocked it down, and then Arlington Catholic knocked it out. Three or four heads. Finally kicked up field. Arlington Catholic finally gets control. Tipped away. St. Mary's takes it away. Arlington Catholic takes it back. Finally a little semblance of water. And just as they say that, they knock it too far. It's going to go out of play. Missed the header. Knocked away, knocked loose. St. Mary's knocks it away. Honkton Catholic gets it back. Didn't take the shot. Tried to pass it down the far side. Blocked, and then St. Mary's trying to knock it upfield. They knocked it off Honkton Catholic into... St. Mary's bench area. And St. Mary's gets it back. They knock it deep. And they knock it too deep. I think the Catholic doesn't let it go out of play. The Cougars will kick it away. Bouncing out near midfield. Tip to the middle. I think Catholic gets control. Trying to knock it deep. They knock it away. I think Catholic with the shot pulled it wide left. That was John Casey, I believe, pulling it. A 
actually it was Jeffrey Bermudez that knocked out wide. Blocked by Arlington Catholic. Knocking it deep, St. Mary's collects. Tipped away by Arlington Catholic. St. Mary's lets it go out of play into the Cougar bench area, and that's where they'll put it in play. They knock it upfield to the near side and hustling, good hustle to get there. Franzak kept it in. St. Mary's knocks it upfield, Alanca Catholic knocks it away. We'll have a substitution before the throw in. And the throw goes out of play. Did Arlington Catholic touch it? Yes, they did. St. Mary's going to get a corner kick. I think it'll be LeBron taking it. Coming from the near side. They blew the whistle for some reason. I don't know what happened there bef before the kick. Whatever the call, they blew the whistle. I have no idea what the call was. It, it looks like St. Mary's only got a penalty kick. There was some jousting out in front. There was a collision out in front. And they're going to give St. Mary's a penalty kick. Right in front of the net, somebody levels somebody, and St. Mary's has got a shot to get on the board. Perez will take the kick. Looking against St. Mary's on top. And he does. So even before the kick, somebody whacked somebody, grabbed somebody, held somebody. Because before the kick, as LeBron was approaching the ball, and the ball was not quite in the air, they blew the whistle. And that wound up with St. Mary's getting a corner kick. Excuse me, a penalty kick. And Perez banged it home. And St. Mary's grabs a one nothing lead. Haggerty, the coach, is telling me one of those two ties that they have, they had a two-goal lead late in the game. And they gave up two goals. They had, it was like three to one. And they gave up two goals late. I think, I think he said they gave up three goals in the second half to tie it at three apiece. They pop it up and they can't keep it in. It goes into the St. Mary's bench area. They knock it deep. They're going to let
let it go through all the way through to Carino. So there he's back at it in the Arlington Catholic end. Knocked out. Yeah, look at that. The Catholic thought it was their throwing. They're waiting for the official to tell them now. They say, no, it's St. Mary's. We'll have three different subs for St. Mary's. The Catholic takes it away. A little lazy on that pass. Rolled it. I don't think he was able to pick it off. Now the ball is going to come to the near side. St. Mary's will let it go out of play. Matt Spencer was trying to track it down. But he let it go out of play. And then it went off Niccolo. Spencer knocks it out. I believe Spencer is the son of the finance man for city of Lynn, Steve Spencer, who I coached in CYO basketball, and it wasn't yesterday. It was a very long time ago. Mary's knocks it deep. Arlington Catholic will get there. And they just let a touch pass, getting it back to the goaltender, Cook, who kicked it out of play. Changes again for St. Mary's. I mentioned Tim Haggard, of course, Mike Tagasino, the head guy. St. Mary's been around for a long time with the Spartans. Piccolo trying to knock it to the far side. They take the shot over the net. Good bid. Niccolo passed it to the far side from a tough angle, trying to get it on net. And the shot went right dead center of the net, but high over the top crossbar. With that pretty good breeze blowing, you get the ball up in the air going from right to left, it kind of hangs. Trying to knock it deep. I don't think Catholic trying to knock it to the net. It got blocked nicely by the St. Mary's defense. I think Kelly's going to get a corner kick coming up from the far side. Headed away by St. Mary's. Again, talking to the Arlington Catholic coaches. St. Mary's has to go to Arlington Catholic. 
once Anglican Catholic want to coming, they have to come here for St. Mary's and they have to come here for Bishop Fenwick. And that's a pretty good trip. And he was telling me, not very often in years past that they play games as late as 7 o'clock. But with everybody using the fields, I told him, I said, like, Manning Field here having five high schools, including Kip, it's not an easy assignment. Not bad for here, because rain, snow, sleet, or hail, you play the game. But over at Frazier, the baseball diamond, you get rained out, snowed out, weathered out. Now you have to try. Rich Avery has to pull a lot of strings to get makeup games because you've got all four schools and Kip playing. There aren't that many open spaces. And then when you have the navigators playing there, it makes it even less. So suspending games in baseball is really a pain in the neck. But here, you still have now, even now, you have a flag football league that plays here. You have Papuana, Eastland, Westland. You have the generals, the older, younger kids, but older kids than Papuana, the kids that are uh, the little heavier kids that can't, uh, don't qualify under Papuana rules for the weight limit. Then you have the semi-pro football team that plays here. Then you have a semi-pro soccer men's adult program that plays, I think, on Sunday nights. So this place is in use almost 24-7. You open up during the day and people come and either walk or run around the track. So there's something going on here all the time. They have, now they're having races, track, very difficult to try and do all the scheduling here for all the all the teams and all the events and then you have from bugle corps exhibitions so rich avery who is in charge of these two fields manning and fraser has his work cut out for him substitutions for both teams as we're past the halfway mark, St. Mary's leading at one nothing, looking for their second win. Bermudez with the throw in for Arlington Catholic. From long range they take the shot and Garino plays it on a hop and he'll boot it away. He's wearing his game shirt. It comes all the way down to his knees. The young eighth grader. Got to be a thrill for him and his family. Also got to be butterflies. Cougars knock it out. From long range, they put it right in the middle of the net. Cook able to make the easy save. That was Connor Hamill with the shot. St. Mary's right back at it. Spencer coming down the near side. Hocked away from him. Arlington knocks it out. As we got substitutions again, somebody else has got to go out. They brought two in now. Second one goes out, and they have to wait for him to get off the field. They go over the top, hustling back with Arlington Catholic. Looked like Niccolo was going to get behind the defense and maybe have a shot and hustling over. 
was that center fielder, I think that was Jamal Lawson, who came over and knocked it away. Now, as they throw it in, they blew the whistle before they could do anything with it. I don't know if they fouled up the throw in again. Bouncing loose, popped up. Cook will play it on a hop and boot it away. And again, St. Mary's right back out. I think the Catholic can't get it out of their own end. Off Arlington Catholic, St. Mary's going to get a corner kick. Now they're not. I don't know if they call something on St. Mary's. There was no question Arlington Catholic kicked it out. Looked like St. Mary's going to get a corner kick. But I don't know if they called Niccolo for reaching in or pushing or banging. Because Arlington Catholic's going to get to kick it away. So St. Mary's won't get that corner kick. Bounces loose. Arlington Catholic has it for the first time in a long time down in the St. Mary's end. They try to knock it deep. St. Mary's breaks it up and they knock it away. Out of play. Taken away, they knock it deep. LeBron's there to play that center field spot. And that ball bounced up and hit Arlington Catholic on the hand when they were trying to control it. And LeBron will kick it away. Skipped right past everybody. Cook stepped out, caught it at the side of the net, and he'll kick it away. That's going to go off the Cougars. They couldn't keep it in. Quick throw in by Michael Anderson. They threw the pass a little bit too far out in front. Uh, Catholic knocked it away. St. Mary's knocked it straight up in the air. Now St. Mary's knocks it out. Uh, it went out of Aiden Sullivan. Spinning. John Casey. Took Niccolo down. LeBron will kick it away. Okay, Catholic knocks it the other way, looking for a break. Trying to get around, pushing it a forward. Still pushing it, still looking for it. Can't finally get a foot on it as he was falling down. Aiden Daly, great hustle. He kept pushing, looking to get a foot on it. Couldn't do it. It's loose again. St. Mary's finally clears it away. He almost gave it away a couple of times in front of their net. I like the castle will get the throw in. Broken up. They keep it in. Deflected toward the net. Garino will come out, grab it, and hold on. And he'll kick it away. He's been active. He's, play, he's playing well. Kicks it out near midfield. 
Niccolo pushing it up. Cougars knock it out. Knock it out again. This I thought it went out past the end line, but they're giving him a throw in. And then, I don't know if he stepped in bounds, but they f somehow followed up the throw in. And they gave it back to Arlington Catholic. They were looking to make that sort of a corner kick, just throw it in, touch it, give it back to the throw in and have him kick it away. I don't know if he, when he got it back, if he was still out of bounds. Tipping it loose and now he finally clears it away and they bring it back. And picked off by the Cougars. Upfield. They get it to the middle. Looking to knock it deep. Carino comes all the way out past the five yard line, plays it on a couple of hops and he'll kick it away. And Catholic takes it away. Tipped, tipped again. Can't get the shot off. That might have been Perez with the play. He got a piece of the would-be shooter. It deflected out. They were looking to get the left foot on it, get it to the net. Perez blocked it. And we'll get subs for both teams. Throwing coming from down deep on the near side. Blocked. Niccolo kicks it away. He almost gave it away. Pass bounced over the foot. They had a nice pass lead in. Down the near side, it bounced over the receiver's foot, and then the Cougars kicked it out of play. LeBron will kick it away. Little line drive that gets by everybody out almost to midfield. Niccolo. A little bit behind the antenna receiver. Bodies go down, his feet get tangled up. Knocked away. Deep, Hunker Catholic knocks it away, St. Mary's knocks it back. Almost pushed it by, the last defender just stopped it. Otherwise they were gonna walk in. Shot, they knock it in.
So that ball got deflected. They forced him to go wide. He went way wide, and he got a perfect kick from just inside the 10-yard line. It just sailed over the goaltender's head into the back of the net, and that was John Casey tying this game at one. So St. Mary's, for the most part, is territorialized, is dominated, and all of a sudden, looked like they broke that play up, deflected away, Casey got it. They forced him to go way wide, make a real wide turn, looped around as he got inside the 10, close to the five yard line, just let it go and it just sailed over the head of Garino. He had no chance and it went just under the top crossbar in near the back post and ties the game at one. Just under six minutes left, they tie it up. They didn't have many chances and it didn't have the ball on St. Mary's end that often. But that one play by Casey and just a picture perfect shot. Carino, all he could do was watch it pop over his head and say, I hope it goes over the top crossbar. Instead, it went underneath the top crossbar. And it gives the Cougars a 1-1 tie. Five minutes and counting left in this first half. Out off St. Mary's. And St. Mary's will kick it out. And they kick it out again. Off a couple of people, St. Mary's finally knocks it deep. Alan Kakalik knocks it back the other way. Actually hit the foot of the Arlington Catholic player breaking to the net. And it wound up back. St. Mary's has to kick it out of play. Breaking, looking for that long pass. It hit the, the back of the foot. I believe it was Tanny. And the ball, he was going back to get the ball. So St. Mary's had to kick it out of play. Now they'll get it out after the Cougars knock it out. We had a couple of substitutions first. And out. Off Arlington Catholic. And he tried to push it up field. They hit it off the foot of Perez. It went out of play. Headed away by Niccolo. Trying to knock it deep. See, Mary's knocked it away. Bang. Trying to knock it deep. They banged it off of St. Mary's player. It stays in the St. Mary's end. Niccolo broken up. Hunky Catholic takes it away. Tip it down the near side. Trying to flip it back. 
broken up nicely. I think Catholic gets it back. I think it was Freer that broke it up. Looking to make another defensive play. Slipped and fell. They throw it in front. It went right by everybody. I think the Catholic will hustle and keep it in. And they bang it off St. Mary's and they'll get a corner kick. Ah, they're giving it to St. Mary's. And they're blowing the whistle for the end of the half. So St. Mary's get out quickly. The young eighth grader played well in net. Gave up the one goal late. Penalty kick by Perez. Got St. Mary's on the board. But then a nice picture-perfect shot by John Casey. Got the Cougars even. And at halftime at St. Mary's 1, Allington Catholic one. One half left as we get back here at Manning Field to start the second half. And we're right back where we started, dead even. We're even when we started. St. Mary's got a penalty kick. There was a corner kick and just before the corner kick was being taken, there was a push and a bang in front of the net which caused the penalty kick. Perez knocked it home to give St. Mary's the lead. And then late, just under six minutes left in the half, Anka Catholic, they didn't have the ball in the St. Mary's end very often. But John Casey made a nice rush, <coughs> went down the near side, and just made a picture-perfect shot. The young eighth grader, Jacob Garino, was not... The biggest player in, in net, and that, I always call it the Grand Canyon, is so big that uh, he just ha all he could do was watch it go over his head and say a little prayer, hoping that it would either hit the crossbar or go over the crossbar. Instead, it went snuggled right underneath and in the back of the net, tied the game at one, and that's where we are as, as we're just underway here in the second half. St. Mary's is trying to make it a trifecta for Lynn schools. Lynn Classical won their game against Marblehead. Lynn English shut out Danvers. And now St. Mary's trying to make it three for three. Lynn teams winning here at Manning Field. Also trying to pick up their second win of the season. Tipped, gets to the net. Cook will come out and play it on a hop. Gets it high in the air near midfield. And it was contact at midfield with Arlington Catholic and St. Mary's. They call it on Arlington Catholic. LeBron will take the kick. Try to get it straight to the net. Off, Niccolo, got it back. St. Mary's all I could do is try and tip it. Battling, they got it back. Hustling to keep it in. And it's knocked out by the Cougars. Hammer with the throw in. Gets around one. Trying to center it. Knocked away and cleared away by Arlington Catholic all the way out midfield and beyond. That looked like it was out, and it was. Out off Franzak. Now it goes out off Niccolo. Maroney knocked it loose. Maroney gets the head on it again. Maroney battling. 
Okay, Catholic takes it away. Bodies go down. I'm not sure who that pass was for. I think just nailed it. Ooh, line drive straight out of play. Down the near side. Nobody anywhere near where that pass went. Headed away by St. Mary's, knocked back by Arlington Catholic. Bodies go down. They didn't call it right away, but they did call it. Aiden Daly was tripped and taken down. So they'll get a kick from the 35-yard line, almost dead on. Palacio will take it. Tries to pop it. I don't think Catholic got a head on it, but knocked it away from the net. Now they try to knock it back, knocked around again. I don't think Catholic finally winds up with it at the far side. And they were trying to knock it to the net, and then he knocked it behind the net out of play. St. Mary's will get to kick it away. Out off Arlington Catholic. I guess there was contact, a, a push or a bank. It was going to be a free kick rather than a throw in. LeBron takes it. Loose. St. Mary's trying to get it to the net. They kind of shanked it. Knocked it off to the right side. Nice little shift takes it away. They knock it deep, they knock it too deep. LeBron is there to knock it away. We're going to see Mary's play is still down on the ground. Now, as Nicolo was down, he's starting to get up. Now he's not getting up. He is still down. Nicole Gagner is waiting to be called over from the sideline. Now she's coming over. We'll have the trainer come to take a look at Jackson Nicolo. Nice shot by Cook to get out and get two hands on that free kick and knock it away with a whole herd of people out in front of the net. Jackson Nicola went down. They helped him off. Looked like it might be his knee, and let's hope he's going to be okay. He went down. He was there. He started to get back up again and then just went back down. And they came out, and they had a couple of people assisting him to get off the field. So we hope he's going to be okay. Corner kick goes off the side of the net. St. Mary's is saying, how about them knocking me down? If they called that, it would have been a penalty kick. I think it was Hughes that was trying to get to the ball and wanted to get knocked down. He was kind of aggravated that they didn't call the play because, as I said, it probably would have been a penalty kick. Can't knock it out. Hamill keeps it in both times.
St. Mary's keeping it in. Nice little shift down the far side with a nice pass. They waited a little too long to try and get it out in front. They tried to make one more play. They had a couple of people out in front. But they call it off Arlington Catholic, I think. I thought it was St. Mary's just taking a shot, knocking it out. St. Mary's is going to get a corner kick. LeBron will take it from the far side. Everybody jockeying in different positions. Picking a partner. They line, drive it. And it goes off the side of the net, not a play. Never got to the front. Popped up. Everybody trying to get a piece of it. Still popping it up. Nobody getting control. Finally, Arlington Catholic gets it. And headed away. And St. Mary's brings it back. Passed too far ahead. Knocked deep. And St. Mary's knocks it into the St. Mary's bench area. Now they move it all the way back to the Arlington Catholic bench area for the throw in. Loose. Trying to tip it to the middle. Trying to walk around. They block it and take it away. Almost walked in. They knock it deep. Cook will come way out of the net to the 10-yard line. Over the far side. Take it away and boot it high in the air. Past midfield. So Mary's got a head on it and knocked it out of play. Both teams trying to get something going offensively, and they just can't. And the pass going to go out of play. They anticipated the player going upfield, and he didn't. Couple of substitutions for the Cougars. Knocked out. Off the foot of Diego Pereira. Now it goes out off Arlington Catholic. Maroney got a piece of it and he got hit and he's down. He went down in a heap outside the 20-yard line. 
And let's hope he just got the wind knocked out of Nicole Gagne quickly out to look at him. And we got another St. Mary's player down. So let's hope Maroney's going to be okay. He went down. I think hopefully he just got the – he's under his own steam, so hopefully he just got the wind knocked out of him. And it wasn't Maroney. might have been Hughes. Again, almost impossible to pick up the St. Mary's numbers. Anderson with the throw in. And it goes out off St. Mary's. I think that was Freer trying to make the pass, but somebody wasn't where they were supposed to be. They knock it deep. Hustling, can't keep it in. Knocked out by St. Mary's. Down the near side. Blocked and knocked out. And he knocked it back off St. Mary's. St. Mary's letting it go and it goes out of play. So he is, so we'll get the throw and we'll have a cup of substitutes. It even baffles me with the substitutes. Those guys were standing at the table when they were going to throw the ball in before and they didn't bring the subs in. Now when they're going to throw it, now they bring the subs in. So there's no, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason for when you bring the subs in the game. Blocked. Nice little shift to the middle. Broken up nicely by the Cougar defense. Trying to knock it deep. LeBron is there to knock it away. Cougars keep it in. Now when they, I believe when they knocked it ahead, I thought it went off a hand. I didn't see it go out of play. Knocked deep again. St. Mary's hustling back, and they'll let it go out of play. <coughs> Tipped away and knocked away by the Cougars. Nobody really getting any offense going at all in the second half. Goaltenders haven't had to do anything. Mary's hustling to let it go out of play off Arlington Catholic. <coughs> Knocking it to the net. Carino came out and grabbed it. He's played well. It's the one goal he had no chance on. He's hustled out, broke up a couple of plays. 
And now, I'm not sure what that call was. The ball was all the way down in the end zone, and they're calling it all the way back to the 30-yard line. I guess, did they call him offside? The whistle was very, very late. The ball was all the way in the end zone of the Cougars, and just as they were, St. Mary's was looking at maybe try to kick it or hold the ball or center it or just as they were getting ready, they blew the whistle and brought it back to the 30-yard line. So the only thing I can think of was they were offside, but that's a, a long wait to blow the whistle for an offside. They knock it deep. St. Mary's gets there first and knocks it away. Good hustle by the defense. Halfway through and counting the second half, still one to one. Both goals scored in the first half. St. Mary's got theirs on a penalty kick early. Alec Catholic answered back with just under six minutes left in the half. And neither team has been anywhere close in the second half. They've had the ball in each other's end, but haven't been able to put a ball on net. Knocked out by Arlington. Substitutions for the Spartans and for Arlington Catholic. They knock it deep. Yeah, they're not going to get it before it goes out of bounds. Tipped ahead. Collect. Try to walk in the near side. Defense again gets there and knocks it out. That was Perez, I think. It might have been Frazier. Ah, oh, Frere, excuse me. Bodies go down. No call. St. Mary's player got tripped up and knocked down at the 25-yard line. They let it go. They knock it deep. St. Mary's going to have to play it because it's not going to go out. They tip it. Uh, the Catholic took it away. And he knocked it out off St. Mary's. It's a tough night for Arlington Catholic. They have to get back. They'll be, it'll be after 10 o'clock by the time they get back to the school, never mind. Back home. And being a school night, they've got to get up in the morning. So not an easy time. The Cougars will get a corner kick from the far side.
They get it up. It's loose and headed away. And we're going to play a knockdown in front of the net. St. Mary's player. And Miss Gagner is going to be called on again, I think. You get in front of that net with a maze of players. Everybody going up trying to get the ball. And everybody pushing and shoving. And all of a sudden, wham, there's a player down. Now the player for St. Mary's being helped off. Felt like a mash unit. He went down hard. He's being helped off. And we hope he's going to be able to. Didn't come close to getting his number. St. Mary's knocks it deep. Neither team has come close to, e to getting a shot on net, never mind scoring. It's just been mainly played right between the 20s. If they do get it inside the 20, it's, it's what, like they did just now. It's a long kick. And gets kicked away like now. It's there, but they just knock it out. It's not to make a play. It's just to get it out of their end into the other end. St. Mary's looking to take the quick throw in. Knocked out again by the Cougars. Trying to center it. Nobody out in front. Cook just waited for it. Little pop fly. Nice little shift to get around. A little shift to walk in, but he got deflected off his foot when he tried to make the pass ahead. St. Mary's knocks it out. I don't know what's going on, but we've had ambulances and police cars with their lights on flying up and down Boston Street. They knock it deep. Knocked away. St. Mary's gets it back. Trying to walk in. And we're going to take down at about the 10 yard line. St. Mary's going to wind up with a free kick. Possible scoring opportunity. As we got 14 minutes and counting left in this one. 1-1 one, one to score. Again, all the scoring in the first half. From just outside the 10, around the 13-yard line. LeBron will take the kick. Knocked it right into the picket fence, then he knocked it right back in the picket fence again. And when he did, I'm not, I, I apologize. I don't know what that call was. How the Catholic blocked it? The only thing I can think of is they blocked it and went, went back to LeBron. It bounced up and hit him in the hand. Now LeBron, I think he's going to try and let that go to Garino. And we saw it wasn't going to go. He knocked it out of play. That other play, I think, he knocked it right into the picket fence, knocked it in the picket fence again. And I think the second time it bounced and hit LeBron in the hand. <coughs> That's the only reason I can think of for the free kick for the Cougars. Out in front, they f waved on it. Nobody in a white shirt around. They were looking to kick it away, and they swung and missed. <laughs> But there was no white shirt there to take advantage. St. Mary's got a break there. That would have been a tough goal to give up. St. 
They're going to head on it, knock it down, and they knocked it in. William Franzak. It got loose out in front, everybody trying to get a piece of it. And the only one that got it was Franzak. A tough goal for St. Mary's to give up. They just almost gave one up when they swung and missed in front of the net and just had a second opportunity with no white shirts around to clear it. And now it was bouncing around. Alton Catholic got a head on it, knocked it toward the net. Everybody looking at a piece of it. And there was William Franzak right there to knock it in. Garino made a nice little shift to get around a defender. They kick it away. He was taking a chance there. He was way out of the net. This is going to go by everybody and go out of play. St. Mary's will get the throw in. So now St. Mary's has to go to work. They haven't got a shot on net yet in the second half, and they need a goal. And we got a takedown inadvertent, but a takedown nonetheless. Headed away by the Cougars. Trying to knock it to the net, it got blocked out in front. Everybody getting ahead on it. See, Mary's finally knocks it out of play. Ten minutes and counting left in this one. St. Mary's down two to one. High in the air. Out of play. So now Samir has got a giddy up in his step. With nine minutes left to play, they're down a goal. Swung and missed and slipped and fell as they're trying to get that shot off. LeBron knocks it away. They knock it deep. Looking for a break. Tipped it by. St. Mary's winds up with it. Pass winds up being complete. They take the shot. It missed wide right. Good idea. Ticketed for that far post. And just couldn't get it inside. I think that was Hamill with the shot. But just popped it wide right. Cougars couldn't keep it in play. We mentioned before St. Mary's trying to get a win and make it three for three. Lynn teams blocked. 
Cougars knock it out. St. Mary's, I believe, is going to get a corner kick. Now, before we do that, we'll get a timeout. There's 7.28 left in the game. 1-1 one, one at halftime. Arlington just broke that tie with a goal from right out of a scrum, a scrum out in front. Franzak knocked it home, and it's 2-1. to one. Arlington Catholic over St. Mary's with 7.28 left with the timeout down on the field. We come out of the timeout. 7.28 left. St. Mary's needs a goal. They got a corner kick coming up from the near side. They only had a couple of subs on the bench to begin with, and now they're carrying people out. Loose out in front. Cork tried to come out. He was way out of the net. And now they're kicking very... Samir's got everybody in tight trying to score. Gorino was at midfield. They kicked it long and deep. And he had St. Mary's knocks it in. Coming down that far side, they ripped it. That's Perez getting number two. They almost gave it away on the corner kick. The goalie came way out of the net, Cook. And now it went over to the right side, and a rocket by Perez knocked it home. Knocked it into the far corner from the far side. Actually knocked it in the near corner from the far side. And we're dead even at two. So that's a huge goal for St. Mary's. Perez has got both. He almost got loose for a shot, just knocked away. And that was from out in front. Popped up, headed away. Taken away nicely. They knock it deep. Broken up. Perez, is, it's amazing how he's scoring because they know about him. He's the one threat they have from last year. And they have two or three guys covering him. Not letting them do anything. And now St. Mary's clears it away. I think that was Pereira that kicked it out. Yeah, bounced by everybody. Nobody could get any a touch on it. Now it, they kick it, pop it up. Garino comes out and grabs it and holds on and kicks it away. The clock will be shut off. Five minutes left and counting. The officials will run the clock down on the field now the last five minutes. From long range, they got too much foot into that one. Kicked it way up, over, out. I'm not sure. I believe the reason for stopping at five minutes is because they, what happens is if, you, if the team is leading, any time you make a substitution, they would 
the clock would keep running as you make your substitution. And conceivably, you could run the last five minutes out because you're leading. You could make substitutions as often as you possibly could. And that would make that five minutes, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. So now if you're losing by a goal and the winning team is sending substitutes in, the official down here can stop the clock, restart it, so that the team that's ahead doesn't run the clock out just putting subs in. And it skips past and goes out of bounds. Pro right past Aiden Sullivan. Headed away. Cougars keep it in. Banged ahead. Casey looking for it. Knocked away from him. Deep in the middle. Knocked loose. Arlington Catholic knocks it away. Bodies go down. St. Mary's trying to hustle. Ryan Freer saying, get up, let's go. Time winding down, we want to get a goal. LeBron will take it. I was going to say they knocked Hamill down at midfield. They were going to take it from the 40. LeBron will try to get it somewhere near the net. They're taking a lot of time. I think the Catholic knocks it away. See, here's a hustle and keep it in. It went out off St. Mary's. They knock it deep. Bouncing to the near side and they just knock it upfield. LeBron gets there. Try to knock it away. He knocked it off Franzak. St. Mary's will get the throw in. Not a lot of time left. This could be Alan Catholic's third tie in four games. Freya with the throw in. They push him back. He throws it way deep. And I'll take Catholic. Trying to make a play. They keep it in play, but St. Mary's takes it away. Trying to center it. They couldn't block it, knock it out. They lost it, but got it back and cleared it. St. Mary's doing the best they can to keep it in the end, trying to get a shot. They can't. The only shot they have on that is Perez's goal. They blow the whistle and that's going to be it. So it's going to end up the same way it began. Dead even. We're going to see maybe he's playing down at the end of the game. It was Perez on a corner kick. They were bumping out in front that wound up a penalty kick. Perez knocked the penalty kick home, made it one nothing. A great rush by Casey. A perfect shot over the head of the goaltender into the back of the net. Made it 1-1 at halftime. It stayed that way till late in the second half. The ball got bounced around. It wound up on the far side. It wound up on the foot of Kevin Perez. He made a great rush. 
a good, strong, hard shot beat Cook uh, into the near post from the far side, made it two to one St. Mary's, and then a, a little bit of a scrum out in front of the net. Uh, a couple of people got their head on the ball. They kept it alive, and it wound up with William Franzak having an open net, knocking it into the open net, and that made it two to two, and that's the way it ended. St. Mary's two, Arlington Catholic two. For St. Mary's, they'll go to one, five, and one. Arlington Catholic will go to oh, one, and three. Their third tie in four games. They'll still be looking for their first win. They thought they might have had it with six minutes left, leading two to one. But Perez's goal tied it up, and that's the way it ended. St. Mary's two, Arlington Catholic two. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.